I think it worked. Let me see, watch. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mike and this is Something Mobile. I just want this to be a raw video for you guys to be able to watch and enjoy this unboxing and my first impressions of the Pixel 7 Pro. Let's get this out of the box. And this is the 256 gigabyte version. And I do have, you can see off to the side, I have a Spigen case, thin fit. I got a screen protector that I'm kind of curious about. But yes, I ordered a Whitestone Dome glass for my Pixel. 7 Pro. I have white stone dome glass on the Pixel 6 Pro and it's it's amazing. It works really really well. Uh, this right here is just a film screen protector but it has something different than other film screen protectors. It actually uses a UV light to kind of set the screen protector. The case and the screen protector will be in the description along with a link to Whitestone Dome. Uh, don't feel obligated to use that link. You can just simply go to the app if you would like on your phone, type in, you know, Spigen Thin Fit and it'll take you to it. Um, so, so far, yeah, USB-C, they added that down there. I don't know why everybody knows that USB-C is the standard for these pixels nowadays. And they said that the phone doesn't look like there's as much of a curve on the sides. I'm trying to see right now if there is not much of a, as much of a curve. And I think they're right. Yeah, they took away a little bit of the curve on the side. Um, before, it was a little bit more than what you would get with like a Samsung. Um, but now, I think this is actually about on par uh, with a Samsung, the S22 Ultra. My Whitestone Dome glass actually feels a little bit smoother on my Pixel 6 Pro than this glass. But this glass is brand new, and after a while it probably would get a little bit more smooth, I would guess. And the outside is a little bit darker on my Pixel 6 Pro, and it's more of like a gunmetal on the Pixel 7. I like the metal right here, of course, because it's going to protect the camera a little bit better. Um, those, the glass that's covering those cameras, I think, would still be fairly easy to break if they did get hit. The darker color on the bottom here and on the top is really cool. Um, All together, I feel like it, it feels the same. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's any weight difference really. Um, the cameras look like they're in about the same spot. Yeah, they really haven't moved anything around too much. They just added this nice guard right here. Uh, let's go ahead and power this on. I'm gonna go get a uh, SIM card to put in there. And while that's doing that, let's take a look, see what's in the box. Um, you've got all your booklets. I'm pretty sure it's quick start guide. Another cable, which is always nice to have, and something to uh, transfer, help transfer everything over from the other phone if I needed it. I'm going to be transferring everything from my Pixel 6 Pro to my Pixel 7 Pro. So this Pixel 7 Pro is a 256 gigabyte version. It's got a 120 hertz display, 5,000 5, milliamp hour battery, the new M2 uh, Titan chip, all of that stuff together wouldn't really push me over to upgrade to this phone but just this phone simply being a better version of the pixel 6 pro is actually enough for me all right let's see this is another thing too um, this fingerprint sensor is actually supposed to be better oh that's cool so the actual fingerprint itself is moving around the screen yeah oh yeah this this method of them telling you exactly what you should be scanning and which part of your finger is actually super helpful set up face unlock and that's another thing see the pixel 6 pro didn't have face unlock and the fact that this has face unlock psh, see it's a better version of the 6 pro love it tilt your head up tilt your head down looks good done didn't have to do the whole thing like this like you have to do with Face ID. Keep going uh, to get your device fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later. Nah, let's go ahead and continue. Google already knows a lot about you. You think that you're hidden, but you're not. If you're on some sort of social media or if you search Google at all, they know a lot about you already. So them knowing your location, it's not gonna be much of a big deal. Identify music around you, turn on, uh, control info on dock. No, on the lock screen, show all content now. I want to show sensitive content only when unlocked. Um, set up always on display. Yeah, turn it on. Um, add another email. I'll do that later. Change how the how text displays. Nice. Got four minutes left. If you accidentally uh, pull the cable out, or if one of the phones dies, um, not all is lost. 
Basically what you do is you, you continue on with the whole process. You're going to have an incomplete setup on your phone, most likely. Yeah, you just go here and you go to system and you go to reset options and you can go to erase all data and factory reset, start fresh. It'll be worth it to you. All right, so the icons, let's see if they're about the same. Nope, the icons on here are a little bit smaller. We'll go out and take some photos. Um, after I get the screen protector installed and I'll put on the slim fit, the Spigen slim fit, and we'll see how that goes. If you don't know already, if you have Google Fi and you have insurance through Google Fi, uh, you're going to have to put a hold on a credit card for the total amount of, of the replacement phone, which is $999. And after taxes, it's a little over $1,000. So what happens then is they will hold that there until they get the new or actually the damaged device in Google's hands. Once that's in their hands, they'll go ahead and release the funds or hold on your card. The installation guys right here, the squeegee, this little guy that goes in the bottom, it says right here, this sample is for practice only. Please remove it after use. I, if I didn't wait for this phone to continue doing whatever it was doing, I would have easily missed that. So this thing right here, this is basically what screen protectors actually do come in, right? That's a problem. Like this, I'm like, okay, what the heck is this? I really don't need it, right? I don't need these. This is the only screen protector I thought I had. This is a screen protector that I would have put the UV light on and then noticed that it didn't even work. And then I would have written a review on Amazon, right? They would have got a bad review. So for me, if I was them, I would have wrote here, I would have put sample here, sample. And then below that, I would have put, this is a sample. Please use this before you install any of the UV light screen protectors and then remove it after use. You get what I'm saying? Like people don't read all the directions. They don't read it. They're creatures of habit and they go by what they know. Okay. So hopefully this company watches this video and sees this. I think that this, this company is so awesome for including a sample. So that way you can practice. It's a great idea, but it's almost like they did their homework, but then they forgot to turn it in. Right. Um, they tried, they said that the sample is for practice only, please remove it after use, but it's too easy to miss is all I'm trying to say. I'm not going to use the sample. <laughs> so I know I probably should, right? Um, but I've installed a couple of these and I want to, and most people probably aren't going to use the sample. You know what? Why not use the sample? You know what the sample is going to help me do? The sample is going to help me uh, get the dust off the screen. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Why not? Why not go ahead and just install the dang sample? Um, I'm not a professional at this, so why not just go ahead and do it, right? Go ahead and just use the sample. Let's go ahead and get this thing wiped off real quick. I don't know, man. I think I probably messed it up just now. I don't know, it's probably fine. Who knows? It says that's one. Ah, starting line for pushing with number one. See, it's a good thing I did. See, it's a good thing I did practice, right? Um, and then uh, uh, starting line for two. So, see, I don't know. Is it here? There it is. Starting line for two. Okay. And then the starting line for three. Right there. Bend it back. Cool. And I did watch a video before, so that way I'd be a professional at doing this. And uh, I'm joking if you don't know, just, I can keep somewhat of a straight face when I'm being sarcastic. So I probably should tell you that I'm joking. Cool, I think we got this. It's not gonna be a problem. There's a little bubble down there at the bottom. Um, my phone is still on because I'm afraid to turn it off because I think it's still doing stuff in the background. Just the sample screen protector is actually really nice. Uh, let me see if I can get it cleaned off. Take all this stuff, toss it off to the side there. Uh, let's see if I, if I can get this cleaned off here. There is a crease right there in the middle. You're spending a little bit more money than what these screen protectors usually cost, but these guys are giving you more than what you paid for. Their whole setup and the whole process here is actually really, really good. Um, your assistant needs additional downloads. That's why I didn't turn off my phone. Yeah.
it sticks really good. What's cool about that is if your phone drops, it's gonna hold the glass together, hopefully, a little bit better than another screen protector that doesn't have that much adhesive. I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna wanna skip that sample or they're just not gonna know it's a sample and they're gonna end up putting it on. They didn't really even tell you in the directions that you should use the sample. That might have been a last minute thing that they added, right? There's like a different part of the, the team, another team, um, like within the organization. So now nah, let's go ahead and in, uh, include this sample, you know, after the engineers put this kit together. Uh, so you're supposed to take off one, all right? Um, what's cool about this is the fact that this first little application right here that you're doing on the phone is actually gonna pick up any dust, it seems like. Am I right? It should pick up any dust that's on the phone uh, right now, and we're gonna be getting rid of it in this step right here. It seems like it to me. So, it's kinda nice. Okay, got that. A little bit too far over. I don't know how that came disconnected or whatever. Uh, that's why. It's because I knocked it out of there a little bit. But it should be fine. All right. So one thing is this comes out a little bit easy. Uh, so if you're taking the sample off, you're probably going to want to uh, reconnect. Make sure that this is connected right. Because when I've set it on here, <laughs> I set it on here and it actually was not set right here. It wasn't pushed in all the way. All right, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. Roll it over like this. Get it to it here. And you can see how it's going to be off. It's going to be off because of that. Just a little bit. I thought I saw it. It was going to be a little off, but I thought, nah, it's just me but it's all right. Um, the um, the non-sample was actually more sticky, it looks like. More of a, uh, a not sample, you know? Th there's a little bit more engineering that has gone into it, you can kind of tell, because the whole thing is wanting to stick down. Really cool. Yeah, I love getting more than what you pay for, you know? It's nice. It's so cool. Um, it's a really, really slick display. It doesn't feel like plastic. I mean, it does, but I can't say it doesn't. It, it feels like a film. It does, but it's the, one of the smoothest films I've ever felt. There's a crease right there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to 90 seconds. Cool. So about a minute and a half from now. I'll speed this up. All right, so we're going to go 20 seconds for about uh, four sections here. And while that's doing that, I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up. And even though this screen protector is not completely on center um, because of the sample, <laughs> no, it's because I didn't check that right there. It's still good. It's totally fine. Um, it looks good, 
there's no problem on like peeling on that side that's a little bit further down than this one, at least that, not that I can tell. Twenty seconds. All right, so while that's finishing up over there, I want to take a look at this case right here. Um, these cases are pretty cheap, which is nice about Spigen, and but yet you're getting a lot. You're getting a good quality case, so I feel like you're getting a lot for your money. And here's the thing I was talking about: it's uh, make it uh, mag safe right here. So it's the Mag Fit collection. So make it mag safe, but it's called Mag Fit. So you basically just add. A little magnet to the back of the phone by gluing this onto the phone or to a case hopefully it'll stick to the case I don't know exactly how that works yet but I'm gonna find out once I get it in the mail uh, it's supposed to be here pretty soon like I was saying and so this phone is pretty much ready it's done I need to go put this back in the box and see if I can uh, get this thing smoothed out here they say get rid of the white lines like this. So I'm pushing pretty hard on it and it's not leaving any marks on the screen protector. Very curious. Really, really cool. So what I want is to get rid of that, that line in the middle. I'm trying to see if it's possible. How much work do you gotta put into this? To be able to get it out. Is it even possible? Because they said after you get done with solidifying this case or the screen protector here, you can do this and it will get rid of it. But it might take a little bit of time. It's better than it was. It's not perfect. So, I am impressed with this. It's nice. Let me wipe it off really quick. It seems like it's a, a fingerprint magnet. And, but, let's see. It is nice. Like my, let's see if it'll unlock and it still does unlock it. So that's basically a disclaimer, but your phone will unlock even from the lock screen. And let's see without being on the unlock screen here. Yeah. Let's see how face ID works. Yep. It's not face ID. It's face unlock. It's nice. It's fast. Face unlock is good. Even though the camera is being covered a little bit by the screen protector. 
It's still good. It's great. Let's see. Just tap once and boom. And let's see if it actually unlocks. Yeah, you can see like a little circle. Uh, let good take a look at that watch. You'll see when I lock it, it's looking for me. Hopefully you guys can see that. One more time here. Let's lock it. And it's looking for me. Yep, and it saw me. So let's see where I have to be. Let's see how close I have to be to be able to have it see me. Yep, there it goes. So it just barely saw my face. And it unlocked. And let's see if it will um, time out. Let's keep it there. It's not looking anymore because that little ring is gone. Or is it? Let's see. Yep, it's still looking. Awesome. So their face unlock, Google's face unlock is really, really good. I guess they took that little bit of time, you know, while they didn't have the face unlock for the Pixel 6 Pro and, you know, made it really, really good for us. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, this case might end up hitting this screen protector right here. It would definitely not have hit the screen protector most likely. No, let me see. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Well, I do like this case on the phone. This is the Spigen Thin Fit. And it is super nice. Let's get this wiped off for you guys. Uh, the metal on the camera is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. The phone feels complete now because of face unlock. Uh, this phone feels super awesome. So automatically captioned media, that's really cool. Um, so you can, so anything you watch, so with the volume rocker, you can turn that caption on right there and it'll caption the media that you're, you're watching or listening to. That's kind of, that's really, really cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, the power button, nice and clicky. Uh, so basically you can click that power button and have that on just like that. Or you can tap the screen just like most other phones swipe up and unlock it. It's really, really nice. So this phone has now turned into like the ultimate phone. If you're coming from an iPhone, you want something that is kind of like it. The Pixel 7 Pro is probably the phone that you're going to want to consider. Um, all in all, like it's just so simple. Um, there's no, if you buy it from Google, there's not going to be any, any bloatware. There's no other apps from phone providers, anything like that. Uh, so this phone is it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and go get some samples of videos for you. All right, so this is how it's handling going from inside a fairly dark room to going outside. All right, let's see how it zooms in here and or how it changes. How long does it change the transition? It got pretty bright on the top one well one of them so the top one i guess maybe i'll put on the top or the right it's going to be the pixel 7 pro the bottom one is the pixel 6 pro i moved into the side pixel 7 pro is on the right so you can see pretty far out there let me go with the zoom there so it's a four times zoom and five times zoom so pixel 6 pro on the left pixel 7 pro on the right it's actually being able to see pretty far bad timing over there I can't see I gotta put my sunglasses on So yeah, not bad. So I want to test one more time just to see how close I can get to the hills over there. I would say those hills are about a couple miles away and I can't really see until I get over to edit the footage how well this is doing. But, and by the way, I'm using the mic on the phone 
And that's a car going by. I don't know how well that cut out the noise. But it's really, really nice. And let's see what happens when it goes up to the sun. Let's see how it adjusts. Oh, not bad. So I guess we can look at the sun now. See what the sun looks like. Very cool. All right, so here's the normal camera and this is an indoor test. Uh, let's go in with uh, the ultra wide zoom or ultra, ultra wide camera. And then let's go with the normal and zoomed in. And we'll see if I can get a picture or a good video of the weights and see how detailed it'll get while indoors. And this also isn't very good lighting. And that is actually not very bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me see. Maybe you can see the back of that light. Can I make it focus on that? Let's try to focus in a little bit more, see if we can read the, the words from here. Let's see. If I stay still, will it do it? Well, I definitely can make out the fact that it says battery right there. And I can't see that from where I am right now. And so just to give you a good reference, this is the regular camera. Let's see what kind of detail I can get on my hat. This is another indoor shot. And the <laughs> quality is really good. I'm going to go grab the 6 Pro and see if that's any different. So the quality is actually pretty good on the 6 Pro as well. Can you guys see any difference? So I see that there's a four times zoom versus the five that is on the Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, let's see if we can see the words from here on this one. So that one, it obviously doesn't zoom in as much. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So there's not, the M2 chip does help quite a bit to kind of bring everything together. So you can't, there's no way it can see that. So you're definitely having quite a bit of a difference in the newer phone because that's 20 times zoom right there. So, yeah. And I don't have the option to just go ahead and pick something else either. Right now I have a zoom slider and it's transitioning through it all and kind of glitchy. See that? I'll do the same on the other one. All right, so we'll go ahead and try that again. This is the Pixel 7 Pro. See if we can make it, yeah. Like, there you go, side by side. And I accidentally, let me see, reset those settings there. Um, let's see, all right, cool. So if I can keep this still, I would be able to see it. And it automatically jumps back to the ability to select wide zoom, whereas the other one, it just was all the way, uh, you know, making you use the zoom wheel, that's it. So right now we're on the zoom wheel and I'm scrolling through on that and it's not as glitchy as the other one, it's pretty fast. And keep in mind that the other one is not like it's, you know, been an old device from, you know, a year ago or something. It's a, a, it's a refurbished device, but it's from Google. So, and it's fairly new. As far as like the processor speed and all that, it shouldn't be affected quite as, as much as you think it would. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the front facing camera looks like while I'm in my car. Outside here, it's not bad. Uh, let's go with that right there, a little bit of a zoom in. Take it back out. It's a smooth, easy transition. It's good. Yeah, it's good. So here's the rear camera, just to compare side by side. It should give you a good idea of what the differences are between the two cameras. All right, so let's see how it looks. Let's see how these blades of grass look. I try to take really good care of my lawn, uh, so it looks like I need to sharpen my blades, but nonetheless, I wanna see how close it can get to the grass and correct itself. 
I'm right up on the grass right there. It's about the limit. So it's not bad. Looks really good. Let's go over here to this sandstone mow strip here. I don't know what's going on with it right now. There it goes. Took a while to transition from that other lens, it looks like. Super cool how close you can get. Really nice. All right, so Pixel 7 Pro first. Ready? I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart, but I lost it somehow. All right, let's try this one. Seven Pro, I had to turn it down a little bit because it's really, really loud. Um, let's go ahead. Did I go all the way up on this one yet? Yeah, so we'll get on that. This is the six Pro. All right, so to me it sounds like this is a little bit louder on the 7 Pro, plus there's a little bit of depth to the sound. It may be me, but I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison um, from the very beginning here. Actually, no, you know what, from where it is right now. All right, so um, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison now. Um, this one's actually down a little bit, so I'll go ahead and I don't want to push it up too high because I want to keep this phone nice because it sounds like the speakers are going to blow, actually. Um, but I, let's see. It might be able to handle it. Let's see how it goes. Seven Pro. Six Pro.
So I think we get a pretty good idea that this phone is definitely an improvement over the 6 Pro. Uh, the 7 Pro definitely is. You can delete the old face unlock and then add a new one, um, you know, wearing a hat or what have you, but it says that you need to have your eyes open. Uh, so for now, there's no option to actually be wearing sunglasses, but that's okay because you could maybe possibly do this. Let's see if I can just go like this. Like that. Or do I have to take them off all the way? So this is what I'm doing like this to let it see my eyes. Yeah. So one more time, one more time. I think it worked. Let me see, watch. So it took a little while. So I think it's, you might be just better off just taking your sunglasses off completely. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, it did it. Let's see one more time here. Sorry, I keep saying one more time, but I wanna see how this works. So yeah, I guess you don't have to take them off all the way. I'm gonna take them off right now. Um, but that is maybe a little bit of a workaround. Just put your sunglasses down a little bit even if you have a hat on, you just make it to where it can see between the hat and your sunglasses, right? Uh, so anyway, hopefully this helps you guys. Um, I think that this phone is a good upgrade. Even if you have the Pixel 6 Pro, I would go for it. Um, hey, if you guys like this video, click the subscribe button and to the right of the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon. You'll be notified when future videos go live like this one in the future. All right, guys, this has been Mike with Something Mobile and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.